Okay, everyone. Hello again. This is going to be a video on everything that I ordered from Me the PS, um, the website. And I was just going to do a video on my collection, but it turns out whenever I was recording everything, I was talking a lot about each product individually, and it was just taking way too much time. So I figured I would set everything up here and talk about it now. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to do was go over the drill. Now a lot of people have this. Um, a lot of people say that theirs didn't work, they didn't like it. Other people say that they do like it. I personally, I like it. It works just fine for me. Um, it was $15.49 on the Made PS website and it came with these um, extra bits and sanding bands. And then I got a um, hundred extra sanding bands to use. So these are going to last me a really long time. These were $4. Um, I got the medium grit. They have um, coarse and soft, I guess, too. You can get those. Um, another thing I got was the little sapping dish. I got one from Sally's. I didn't really like it. I wanted to get one with a lid. Um, these, you actually get two of them. But anyway, you get two of them. And they are $4 for both. Comes in a little set. Um, another thing is the clippers. Tip cutters. I got these. Um, the first time I used them, they worked fine. I'm not sure what happened, but now, whenever I do them, here, I'll try to do it real quick to show you what happened. It, you go to cut the tip, of course it works then. Anyway, it's been just bending it. Shut up. Yeah, he's laughing at me. I knew it was going to do that. I thought about it in my head. I was like, I'm going to try to show them and watch it fucking work. And it did. But anyway, that's good. They work fine. Um, it's been bending them up. And then I've just been cutting them, you know, the middle piece that didn't catch with um, regular toenail clippers. It's been working okay. But I actually just ordered another pair of these. So I don't know if I just got the reject pair that they had or what. But I ordered a, n another pair. We'll see how that turns out. And let's try to close this. Sorry, guys. I have a mess on my hands. Okay, another thing I got was these acrylic brushes. And they're okay. I got one from Sally's and I ruined it because <laughs> it was my first time um, doing the acrylics. And I was just hurry, sloppy, you know. I, I've ruined it. But, um, these are the brushes. You get five different sizes. And this, I actually, I had, um, paint brushes from Michaels. I put a little grippy on it, which I'm going to do that to all of them. But they, um, actually, they come with these little tubey protectors to put over the bristles. And I've been leaving them on there. But what that's doing is causing them to fray a little bit. I try putting them on right after I use the brush cleaner to try to save them from getting pushed down but you know these little ones on the side that happens oh well but I mean um I used all of them they all work fine um they were four dollars for five and they also have little cuticle pushers on the other end which that's good for like if you accidentally get it on your skin you can just go through and push it off and it's not going to leave you with like a big mess it's not going to be really hard to clean off the brushes and then I just got these with my last order finally got metal, metal cuticle pushers um, this comes in a pack of two for three fifty, and you can see they have the flat end to push your cuticle and this end I just use um, a lot for the um like 3D flowers and you want to make that little line in there for the petals 
that's what I've been using it for. You can also um, go underneath your nail to clean it out. I'm really not sure what the correct use is for it, but that's what I use it for. And they're really nice. They're sturdy. Um, I have spray, um, antiseptic spray, and I clean all my metal tools after I use them. Keep everything nice and clean. That works out good. So I really I like the metal. Um, next I have, I want to go over my tips. I'm so excited. Now these I got with my first order that I got from me at TS. And, um, this case is actually a tip, or kiss case with the uh, full covered nails. You can get those for like $5 at Walmart or, you know, different drugstores. But this is actually how the tips come when you order them from the website. I mean, they're all in their individual baggies, which if you don't have these, that's fine. You really don't need them. If you don't mind the little baggies, I say just go ahead and use them. I mean, they're all, they're all separated. They're all numbered. That works just fine. But um, I actually had extra, and I um, put my full cover nails in little baggies. This I use these for my um, practice fingers, but I'll talk about that. Um, and I just put, you know, pretty much filled up each little compartment and then the extra I keep in the bag and then whenever I use these up, of course, you know, I'll, I'll refill it with whatever I have left. So I got these, um, clear, I got white, and all of these other ones besides the clear are all the, um, half well, you know, the, just the little moon shape tips. Um, got white. These are actually the ones that I have on right now. Um, they're called Coral Red on the website. Um, they're actually like a pinkish color. They're really, really pretty. I, I fell in love with them immediately. They actually look a lot better in person than they do on the website. And that's what I have on my nails right now. Uh, those are Coral Red. These ones are called Dark Red on the website. But whenever I got them, they're actually um, more of a brown color. But, I mean, that's fine. I'll use them for maybe, like, Thanksgiving, you know, November, fall weather, or whatever. But, um, they're okay. I'm really not a fan of brown. It's actually my least favorite color, but, you yeah, know, something different to have. Um, I got black. I like black. I think black's cute. And these are just so simple. If you have black nail polish or white, or really any color, black or white, I like black and white together personally. You know, if you just have a dotting tool or something, put the tips on, put a couple little dots in your nails, and you have gorgeous nails. I, I think that is so pretty. Simple, elegant designs. I love them. Um, got yellow. So I have my black and yellow for football season. Um, the yellow actually is really, really pretty. It's really bright, really vibrant. It's, um, it's, it's not like, I, I thought it would be really sheer and see-through, and they're not. They're really thick. Um, you don't need to put a lot of acrylic over to try to make it, um, opaque. It, it really, they're really like that all on their own, and I, I, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, same thing here with the green. These are so pretty. I wanted to do these first, but I, I fell in love with the red. I had to. And, um, same thing. You know, they're not see-through. You don't have to use a lot of acrylic. They, um, whenever I got them, I thought, you know, they would be really crappy quality. I did, they're, they're 250 250 for 500 nails, which is an awesome price. And they, they are sturdy. Um, some of them, I don't know if you can see, some of them, they're a little bit, I don't know, mess, like they really didn't take their time in making them, but that's okay. You have 500 in each pack to pick from. You know, if you get one that's a little bit messed up, you can file it down or throw it out and use another one. I mean, it's really not going to break the bank if you throw a couple away because they're not absolutely perfect. And then, like, um, on the tips, of course, you get those little jaggy things from, I guess, the mold they peel them off of or whatever. But I mean, you're going to cut that anyway, so it's not, like I said, going to really mess anything up. And then the last ones I got are the blue, and I actually saw someone on YouTube do a tutorial on 
how to do acrylic nails and they use blue tips and they look so pretty on her I had to get these I really like them um, same thing they're all really really good quality for only two dollars and fifty cents it blew my mind it's amazing so I got six different colors plus my clear and my white so I have tips to last me a lifetime Seriously, like the bags they're in are still almost full. So, I mean, yeah, I, I'm gonna have tips for a while. <laughs> and um, next thing I wanted to talk about is the cases. Now, this really isn't a good example. I wanted to show. You know, I'm gonna be honest. Um, these you can see. The, um, numbers, the paint on the boxes, the numbers, they scratch off really, really easily. Like, I, this is just a couple times of me, um, you know, pulling them in and out, of, taking them in and out of my drawer and just lightly touching them and the rubbing off. So I'm just going to, you know, scrape all of it off eventually and then maybe take a Sharpie or something and write my own numbers on it, which, I mean, that's really not a big deal. As far as the quality of the actual boxes themselves, they are nice. They close tight. They're not going to, you know, spill out. I haven't dropped them yet. I'm not planning on dropping them, so I don't know. You might have an explosion of nails if you drop them. But, I mean, that's with anything. You can't, you can't guarantee something like that. But, I mean, the quality is really good. You know, the little hinges on them, they're not all funky and uneven. and You know, they're, they're all right. Okay, next are my rhinestones. These are the, one, the only ones I got. They have so many rhinestones on the website. It is unreal. And they are all so cheap. These are the first ones I got because um, I have a bunch of the Sparsky 